What's up, everybody? So this morning I got up. My mind was going a million miles an hour. We have a lot of stuff going on with a new broker. We have a lot of projects going on. Pam has a lot of projects going on. And a lot of it is new to us. So, you know, my mind started going where it started hitting the past, you know, hitting a lot of the businesses that we started the last three years, a lot of the projects that we were trying to do the last three years, and all the failures that we have encountered, all the money that we have spent, all the money that we have gotten into debt with. And the demons started creeping up, and the demons started, you know, saying, don't do this. You know, what are you doing? You're going to put more money into debt? You're going to put your family through this again? So I started questioning myself, like, am I doing a disservice as a husband? Am I doing a disservice as a father, you know, to put my family through this again? You know, so everything starts creeping up. So I, I went silent, you know, and I started thinking and I started questioning, like, should I really do this? You know, am I, am I doing the right thing here? You know, am I going to continue this path of failure? You know, and then it's like, you know, I don't know if you guys had that moment where you question everything and you allow those demons to get in you and to try to stop you. And I said to myself, wait a minute. It's not the demons. It's not karma. It's not faith. It's not you, the universe, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's me. I'm allowing those questions. I'm allowing those thoughts. I'm allowing those you know, those past failures creep up on me. I, I'm the one that's allowing all this. And then it started dawning on me. I said, you know something? We have three parts of our life. Our life is, is made up of three parts. We have the past, we have the present, and we have the future. And then I started really thinking real deep. I said, I can't change the past. The past is done. So do I allow the past to creep up on me again? Or do I allow the past to make me? Do I allow the past to allow me to learn from those mistakes, all those failures? Do I use that past to make me stronger? And then I said, but I do have the present. I do have control of what I do now. That I have control of. Because I could decide right now at this moment, just like I decided this morning, not allow those demons to take over. Not allow karma to take over. Not allow the universe to take over, the faith to take over. No, they're not going to control my future. They're not going to control my thoughts. I am. I'm in charge of my future. So why am I going to let that creep up? So I'm in charge of the present. I make the decision right now to not allow that to creep up on me. Not allow my past to define my future. I choose that. And then we have the third part, which is the future. And we all know we have complete control of our future. Because the decision that we make right now could change our future. And we're only one decision away from that. Just one. So I didn't allow those demons to creep up on me again. I didn't allow all that. Because I chose not to allow that. I did. I'm in charge of my life. Let me say that again. We have three parts of our life. We have our present. I mean, we have our past, we have our present, and we have our future. So we can't control the past, but we can use that to our advantage. But we can't control now, and we can control our future. That's two out of the three. So the ball's already on our court. The odds are already on our favor. So why let the, why let the past control it? We have the two other parts. And they're in our favor. So stop. That's what I told myself. I told myself, stop. Let all that bullshit go. Control your present. Control your future. That's what defines you. One decision away from the future. One. So commit first and figure it out later. That's what Pam and I do. We have no idea what's going to happen, but we are going to take control of it. Just like I want you to take control of it. Remember, the ball's in your court. The odds are in your favor. You make that decision. 
Don't let faith take it. Don't let anybody else allow you to do it. You make that decision. So go out there and do it.